Hey y'all, it's me, your friend, Laura Burns. Welcome back to my channel, and if you're here for the very first time, allow me to give to you my most heartfelt jazz hands. Welcome, welcome to our community of weirdos. <laughs> so um, we're here for a trunk club today. Once again, I'm coming at you with my quarantine chic lounge outfit. <laughs> Um, I'm not wearing real clothes because I, uh, I'm not leaving the house. So, um, but I am excited to dig into this trunk with you. Uh, to recap, Trunk Club is a clothing style subscription service. <laughs> and, um, you have a rotating mm, cast of stylists who are assigned to style you. I get it every month, but you don't have to get it every month. And uh, basically they send you clothes that they think you're gonna like or that you say, hey, can you send me this if it's available? And then you try it on and then you pay for only what you keep and uh, send the rest back. And it has been, um, along with my Dia & Co subscription that I also get every month, it has been such a highlight um, every month for a couple of years now. It's really fun. Um, I have tried new brands that I never would have tried. I've tried colors and silhouettes and styles that I wouldn't normally have tried. I have found some of my very favorite clothing pieces uh, from these boxes. And so they hold a special place in my heart. Um, if you have been following the saga of <laughs> what has happened since they changed the way that uh, the system works, I used to have a dedicated stylist. Um, her name was Kat. She was perfect. She was so good. She, um, she knew me. She understood what I like. She understood my lifestyle and she pushed me a little bit to try new things, but not too much. And, um, now they have a system where you don't have a dedicated stylist every time you just get matched up with a different stylist. And that has been, um, hit or miss, I would have to say. And, um, y'all, we're still on this journey. <laughs> We're still here. Um, so every month now when I get a preview of my trunk where I can go through and say, okay, this is what they want to send me. Yes, yes, no, 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 yes, 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 whatever. And then I get feedback on the things that I am telling them not to send. And then they put new things in uh, once they've taken those out and then they send the trunk. So what I have started doing is in my patrons only Facebook group, when I get my preview for the trunk, we go live and they go with me while I open my trunk preview. This is the computer screen, by the way. Um, and so they're with me to witness how it goes. And uh, this month it was bad. It was bad. It was bad, bad, bad. Um, uh, oh, it was just, everything was like really bland looking office clothes or like 70 year old woman going out to lunch with her lady friends at like the club. I don't know, man. It was weird. It was like, what? This is not for me. So I gave very specific, polite and respectful, but like incredulous feedback of like, hey, this seems like maybe I got the wrong preview. Like it's so, you know, off the, <laughs> off the mark. Anyway, and so normally they would just take those items out that I said I didn't want to get replace them with new ones, send the trunk. But this time, because so much of the trunk was bad, they actually made a whole new preview. And so I think only like one, I'm looking because they're the stuff is there. I think only like one of these things was in the original preview and everything else is new. And it was much better, much better this time. So that was disappointing. I shouldn't have to have that happen. Like they have literal years worth of information about what I like and what I don't like. And even if it's a new style that's coming in every time, like I feel like there should be certain notes that like, don't send these things or try to send these kind of things <laughs> because um, the information is there. It's not like they don't have the information. And still, <laughs> and, I'm and still this time they sent two pairs of shoes, both of which are not a wide size. So I can't even try them on for you. Also, they're both heels. so. I will show you them. They're cute. Like, listen, if I could wear those shoes, I would be happy to wear those shoes. But uh, the heel height and the width of the shoe means that they are not for me. So I will show you those, but I can't put them <laughs> on my feet for you. Anyway, so this has been a very long introduction to say, I don't know what was going on with that first preview. The second one was much better. I'm excited to show you the stuff that I have. <sighs> and also to say, 
WTF trunk club. I don't really understand. So, um, yeah, they're kind of not my friend right now. <laughs> we'll see how this goes. The second preview was much better, but it's just annoying to, to have that happen. Anyway, okay, we are going to get started with some items right now. Here is the first item. It is from City Chic and it's size 2X. If you don't know, City Chic runs a little big, so their 2X, which is a 24, I would say fits like a 26, sometimes 26, 28, and so technically I'm sized out of City Chic, but a lot of times their stuff fits me anyway. Um, this certainly does. It is out of a stretchy, like, burnout. Um, well, you can't see, but it's a very thin, airy, if you know what burnout is, it's like where it's like dark light, dark light, dark light, dark light. And then this is fully smocked, so it would fit even larger than me. Um, it's really cute. I know it's hard to see because it's like black on black, but it's hitting here, and it's like a little peplum cut here, and then this is all smocked, and then we have the straps that have little, well, I'll come closer. I know it's hard to see, but little, black is so hard on screen, uh, little ruffles along the edges. It's really cute. So um, this is too long. The straps are too long, but that often happens for me. I am quite often having to shorten straps, and if I did that, then it would fit really well. Um, just right now, it's a little too big. So this is very cute. I'm just looking in the mirror here. You can see from the side and from the back. Cute, a little top. Um, I'm not really sure how to style it though. I guess like with pants <laughs> or like maybe like a pencil skirt. So like, okay, so I'm wearing bike shorts. So like if this was like a little skirt, that would be cute. Um, yeah, or jeans, but I don't really wear jeans very often. I'm like, I don't really know how to style this. <sighs> Give me your input. I'm already asking for you to comment. Um, tell me your input. How would you style this? Especially how would you style it not with pants? Like I could put it over a little dress and then it would be like a cute dress underneath. So that's a possibility. I really like it, but I'm kind of like, oh, what do I do with it? I don't know. But it's very cute. It's very fun. This would be great for um, Houston weather. And um, I mean, certainly, you know, in the summer, but also when it gets cooler, I could pop a little t-shirt on underneath. I think that would be really cute. I have a little 90s style white little baby tee that I think would look really cute under this. Okay, so that was our first item. I'm going to show you another top that I got and then we have a couple dresses. Look at this cute top. This is from Halogen, or actually it's from the Halogen Atlantic Pacific collaboration. Um, this is the same collab that that dress from last month that I was in love with is from and I have the same problem well not quite the same the sleeves are better here the sleeves are a great fit you know it's got puffy sleeves I love it so much but it doesn't fit it's too tight and the top this is the same problem that I had like it kind of looks okay but look at the side you can tell it's like boob smash it's like really holding them down I mean I don't have a large chest to start with but like it's really smashing them down man if you had a big chest this would not you wouldn't be able to get it on your body. It's non-stretch. It's so pretty though. Look at the sheen. Oh, I'll come closer so you can see. Oh, it's so cute. It's like this beautiful, rich berry base and then like this blue turquoise leopard print, which sounds bananas when you say it, but it looks so pretty. Oh gosh. And it's got these big balloon sleeves. <laughs> I love it. Um, but I just need the top to fit better it's the same thing with that dress that I was so bummed about but if you're maybe a small 26 this could work for you or um, a large 24 maybe this would work um, it's such a bummer and also it's making it hit kind of high I think it's supposed to hit a little bit lower but it's being pulled up because the chest is too tight oh they also had a dress version of this, and I wish they had sent me the dress, but I think it also would have the same problem. So maybe I would just be even more sad that it didn't work. Oh, look, I'm looking in the mirror. I love the sheen, like just the shine, like what a perfect holiday top. Oh, 
It's so cute. Oh, at least I'm not as sad as last month with that dress that I was so in love with and liked so much. Look, I can like actually raise my arms in this, but the neck is a little, because the whole thing is a little tight. Okay. Well, it's clear this is not for me, but I don't know if this is for you. It's really nice. I could see this looking so beautiful oh, on someone that it fit properly. <laughs> um, wow. What a beautiful top. It's so nice, y'all. It's so, the material, it's like really nice material. Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, it's great, but it doesn't fit. Also, I don't need this, but it's so cute. <laughs> I would definitely be more tempted to keep it if it fit, but also I know that I don't need this in my wardrobe, especially since I'm doing a big, I'm currently in the middle of a big wardrobe purge, which is really hard, but um, I think it needs to be done. I've got a lot of, I have a lot of clothes. A lot of them I don't wear. I have a lot of stuff that I've held on to from um, the before times, before I was as, um, committed to only bringing clothes into my wardrobe that I was really excited about. And so there's a lot of really great clothes that I have that just aren't for me, or I thought that they were, but I haven't worn them. And so they just need to go out and like live a life of being worn by actual people instead of just living in my closet. So I'm currently working on that, getting rid of things. And I feel like this would become part of that, uh, the next purge if I got it because I don't need it. Where am I gonna wear this thing? <laughs> anyway, it's so pretty though. Okay, moving on. Oh, a bodysuit. Hi. <laughs> well, so I put this bodysuit on, but uh, I took my bra off to do it because I thought it wouldn't look cute. But then I realized it was fully sheer. I thought maybe the flowers would like cover up the boob part, but uh, they don't. So I am not taking this off just to put my bra on and put it back on, put it back on. So I'm just doing this and you're going to see it from the waist up. <laughs> it's horrifying. Uh, the neck is really tight and you have to get in like by putting it overhead and then snapping it once you're on, which is like a challenge and it's fully sheer and I hate bodysuits. And then also the arms are like weirdly baggy. I don't know, I hate it. I hate it so much, I'm taking it off. But I just wanna show you, I did put it on. I did it for you and um, now I'm taking it off. All right, we're doing better now. <laughs> so this next item is from City Chic <laughs> and it's not the last City Chic item. So it is a dress in their size 2X or 24 and much better. It fits me, <laughs> so that's a good start. It's not see-through, um, that's even better. But listen, I like uh, sheer clothing, but um, I did not like that. Anyway, so here we are. We've got some cuffs, little fluffy sleeves here, little baby puffs here. Oh. It does have a collar up here, which I don't really understand or need, like it would be fine without it, but that's okay. A uh, cute little collar up here, a little surplus neckline, a little like faux knot that happens here. It's very cute. And then we've got, what do they call this, like a tulip? So here are, here's the lining, and then we've got two panels that cross over. I think this is like a tulip hem, I'm pretty sure, because they're like rounded. Anyway, it's a little high-low, so it's a little shorter in the front, longer in the back. Here's from the back. There's some elastic here at the waist. Now, the material is not stretchy, but the fit is not super tight. Um, yeah, this is a very cute dress. I like it a lot. Um, it feels a little nice for me. <laughs> it feels... Um, I don't know. Like I would be, I would put this on like for a nice dinner or something. Um, if I worked in an office, I always say this, but like if I worked in an office, this would be great to wear to the office. It, I feel like you could, um, you know, accessorize it for the office and then do the switch, you know, to evening. Well, 
one day when we can go out and be together again. But do the switch in the evening, maybe change your shoes, change your accessories, change your hair, and then I think this, this could still work in the evening. Um, you could even like pin it to hit a little, well, my, <laughs> my unicorn uh, bra is showing through, but you could pin it and then it would come down and uh, be very sexy for the evening if you wanted to do that. And uh, yeah, so I really like this, but I'm like, do I need it? I don't really need it. And I like it, but do I love it? Probably not. Trying to be responsible, good Laura Burns. It's holiday time, I am buying presents for people. Do I really need to buy something for myself that I'm not absolutely in love with? I'm also trying to remind myself of the closet purge. Closet purge. <laughs> So, but this is great. This definitely is like changing the vibe of the box. Um, this feels more like me. It's a dress, it's from City Chic. I love this color. Um, yeah. So this was, I think, the only original piece from the first preview that I got that I said to keep, and uh, they kept it in this box. So I have another City Chic dress that I think might be a little more um, my specific vibe, but I do like this. If you're into it, I would snap it up because I think it's super nice. So, okay, moving on, another city chic dress. Hi. Okay, so I'm in the next dress and it's really cute, I'm feeling it. Um, also from City Chic, also a 2X, and um, a different vibe for sure. It is, first of all, this really beautiful um, dark green color, which I'm actually really into right now. I was just talking to somebody about this color and how much I liked it. Um, and it's got sheer sleeves with little like Swiss dot or whatever you call it. And um, they're flowy, which I love. <laughs> they're so cute, I really like it. And I love when there's elastic and you can then convert it to like a different length of sleeve. So you put it up here and then changes the look also, especially I get the hot arms. I mean, but this is like sheer material, so. It's gonna be breezy <laughs> anyway, but I love the option because I do have hot arms. All right, and then the main part of the dress is the same material, but it's lined with a solid in that same color, so it is a not see-through. We've got this faux wrap. So I'll show you here. Here's the knot, and um, it's sewn all the way to here, and then it opens up. So it's definitely not a real <laughs> wrap dress, but that's okay. Um, it's cute. It's not stretchy. I wish that it was. It's a little tight on the bottom. The lining is stretchy, but the top is not stretchy. So it works, but I think if I were to sit down, it would make me nervous. So let's try it. Oh no, I can't. I can't sit down in it. <laughs> so that's not great. That doesn't work for me if I can't sit down in a dress, but it's really cute. It's got this little ruffle at the bottom. Oh, and it's so cute. So um, you could wear this one to work also, and you can have it cross here, but you can also just open it up a little bit. And if you want, put a little pin. Again, my unicorn bralette, but if you wanted to, you could pin it down here, have like a cleavage moment if you're into that, or you can let it be up here. So that's really nice. Um, I would say size-wise it feels true, well not true size, because they're already, this is a 2X, so I shouldn't be able to wear it. So it's not true to size, but I would say it fits like a 26, like a small to small to medium 26, if that makes sense. Um, it fits really nicely up top for me, like it's a great, it's a really good fit. It's just the bottom is a little tight and there's no stretch, so. It's not gonna work for me, but it is so cute. It has this nice movement in the hem because of the lightness of the fabric and the ruffle. So it's such a cute dress and I'm a little bummed, but also it's like nicer too, so I don't really need it. This also would make a great holiday dress. It also I think could go casual as well, like depending on what you paired it with, which is so nice in a dress when it can kind of go either way. Um, but yeah, oh, I love these sleeves so much. I just wanna like wave my arms around. <laughs> anyway, okay, so um, I'm gonna keep this on and show you some accessories. 
Hello. <laughs> so I've got some accessories to show you. This is from Free People and it is so soft. It's like a, like a literal cloud. Oh, I just wanna lay on it forever. It's this beautiful pink color that I love. It's really wide. There we go. And it's really stretchy. It's so nice. Um, I'm guessing it's expensive because it's from Free People. <laughs> and they're expensive but it's nice and long so here you can see the full length there's so much you can do with it oh I love it I kind of want it really badly even though I live in Houston and I really don't need it it's like the most impractical thing oh okay I just want like a whole like I don't know cocoon made out of it and then I've got this bag so this is from Topshop a nice big tote bag or tote style I guess handbag it's made out of fake leather has this toggle and it comes with a removable um, insert that has a pull on it that matches the bag so that's cute I think it's nice when you have a big bag to have like organization inside of it or else everything gets lost um, I am trying to carry small bags right now so this is not really of my alley but it is nice if I were looking for a big bag I would consider it. and it looks really good with this scarf they're both tones of pink <laughs> and uh, I like the size Laura Burns you don't need this bag oh but I like it it's a great size for me mm, okay I don't need this bag it's really cute though I've never um, I don't think I've had a bag from Topshop before but it's fake leather but it's so soft it's like creepily soft. Every I just want everything to be soft. I'm burning up. All right, um, I'm gonna show you more accessories because that's all the clothes this time. All right, I changed because I was getting hot and I didn't want to like sweat in that dress because I'm not keeping it. Um, so I have some accessories to show you. The first is a tiny purse. <laughs> you know, so I said I was trying to wear really small bags and um, I chose this as one of the three add-ons you can have at the end. It's from Madewell and it is so small. It's like the size, it's like just large enough for your phone, I think. And then it has some slot like card pockets. I've been looking for a crossbody, but this is very clearly not long enough to be a crossbody for me. I don't know, I think they may have marketed as one, but like even for a thin person, this seems on the short side to be a crossbody. So that is not gonna work out, but um, it's very cute. I mean, I guess you can carry it like this. I really am trying not to have bags that I carry like that because I get this, I'm really bad about it. And then I don't want that. I've already like healed myself of the like purse shoulder once in my life. I really don't want to do it again. So this is not going to work for me, but it is cute. It's really small. Oh, well. So the next thing that we have here is from Kendra Scott. This is another add-on and it is a pair of earrings. So the middle is Druzy, if you know what that is, um, which is really cute. But I think that um, Kendra Scott stuff seems to be very overpriced for what it is. Um, yeah, so these are cute. I actually just saw on the back of these that they're $68 and um, no, I don't think so. I mean, they're cute, but I don't think so and they're made in China so it's not like they were like artisanally crafted or something um, so I'm gonna say no to that and then I got y'all know or maybe you don't know I love the jewelry from Madewell so here are just some very simple little hoops in their um, oh it's not their antique gold it's just regular gold tone anyway they're cute I've been looking for um, little gold earrings lately I've been getting you know a few pairs of those so these are certainly in the running because they look cute they're a nice small size and um, I've had really good luck with Madewell jewelry in the past it, they um what does it say sterling silver post yeah so it's not going to irritate none of their earrings have irritated my ears and their necklaces have lasted really well for me um and like the you know because it's not like gold it's not like fine jewelry and so sometimes that stuff like the outer 
layer can wear off. Um, that's happened to me with other jewelry and I don't love that. It doesn't look great and then it can like leave gross stuff on your neck. So these are in the running to keep. We'll see. And then um, I have this set of bobby pins with like pearl accents, which are cute, but um, I always think that I'm gonna wear stuff like this and then I just don't. So I don't think that that's for me. <laughs> um, they're very pretty. I always have these lofty ambitions of doing my hair nicely and um, it doesn't often actually happen. All right, so I'm gonna show you the two pairs of shoes. We've got this first one. These are from Topshop. So again, a heel, which you know I'm not gonna wear. And then look how thin, there's like very little padding. There's no support. Oh, here, let me, there, now you can see a little better. Like they're not ugly shoes, but they for sure like will not go on my feet. And even if I could get them on my feet, it would cause pain for me here and here. So these shoes are not for me. And then I'm just gonna show you this other pair. These are from Michael Kors and um, they're really cute. I would wear these, but alas, look at that heel. <laughs> this is like a hilarious heel to me. Why would you send this to me? It's bananas. I literally wear like Birkenstocks, y'all, and they send me these. What? So cute, really cute shoe. I love the look of them, but they're neither of these shoes are in a wide size. So even if I could get, I can't get my feet in, and even if I could, this heel, I would just die. I could wear the, if they would go on my feet, I could wear these sitting down and that's about it. So those are the shoes that came in and that is all of the items. So I'm gonna get the prices and um, I'm gonna check the website and see if anything is on sale um, cause that has been happening lately. And uh, I have the prices here, I haven't looked but um, I'm gonna check for a sale first and then I will redo the prices. Okay, I'm back. And um, I'm glad I checked. There were a couple of sale prices to add. And also most of the things on here were already on sale. Um, but two of the items have been uh, marked down again since I guess this was printed. So here we go. The Madewell earrings, 14. The Michael Kors shoes, 90. Big sale on those. They were really expensive. The Madewell small crossbody bag, 40, 60. The Free People huge scarf, 48. The Atlantic Pacific, uh, halogen top marked down a second time to 53.40. The Top Shop sandals marked down a second time to 32.92. The Top Shop bag 58. The Kendra Scott earrings 47.60. Uh, the pearl hair clips $18. The City Chic camisole with the um, smocking 49. The City Chic Burgundy wrap dress, $34.65. That's a great price for that. The City Chic green dotty uh, dress, $38.15. Also a great price. And then the City Chic bodysuit, $22.75. So it's really a bummer that those City Chic pieces like aren't better for me because they're all like really, really heavily marked down. Um, and I'm so tempted about that green one, but it's too small. I can't even sit down in it, so it's not good. Um, so yeah, I was hoping that that scarf would be on sale, but it's not, of course. And um, I just don't wanna pay $48 for a scarf that I don't actually need and will, you know, not wear that much. So if I live somewhere where it was cold, I would snap that up because I love it. It's so nice. It's long, it's wide, it's light, but warm and so soft. Oh, um, honestly, like I'm not blown away by this trunk. I'm gonna go ahead and keep those Madewell earrings. Oh, these guys. Uh, because I've been looking for some gold hoops and for $14, sure, I'll take it. Um, I gotta say, not the best trunk. I feel a little disheartened by this trunk. I know that they've had supplier problems. <sighs> um, and I can see that because there were very few actual clothing pieces in this trunk and a lot of accessories, which I like accessories, but um, it's kind of a bummer and that I thought for sure I was gonna keep that black city chic top But it's like $49. I think it said that is way too much for that top Where is it? $49 no if that goes on sale more um, 
that's ridiculous to me for that kind of a top but you know I don't set the prices anyway so now's the time where you type a type a type a and you say what would you keep if you were me what would you keep if you were you, if anything, and then anything else that you would like to say, maybe a check-in, how are you doing, how's your holiday season, how's life, how are you feeling, what's going on in your world, I would love to hear, and um, I would love to support you in the comments and have other people support you in the comments, and sometimes it's just nice, bleh, sometimes it's just nice to connect with each other, so I think the comments of my videos is a great time to do it, so put it out there. How are you? Do you need some support? Do you need a little love sent your way? Let us know so that we can send you that love. And I hope that you feel loved and supported. But if you don't, please remember that I always love and support you. And I'm always sending that to you. I'm sending it to you right now. And yeah, I hope that you feel that. I hope that you, um, I don't know. I just hope that you remember that there are people out here who care about you. And um, even if we've never met, I still want you to feel happy and loved and supported and I know that this time of year is really hard for a lot of people, uh, even in the best of times and we are not in the midst of the best of times right now so just <sighs> sending it out there. It's December y'all. There's a lot going on this month on top of uh, a pandemic. <laughs> so anyway, I will stop my rambling here but um, yeah, let me know what you thought of this trunk or what you your low opinion of this trunk, I'm guessing, is what I'm getting a lot of, which I don't blame you at all. Um, it's still fun, though. Even when the trunk sucks, I still have a good time doing these videos. So, because people are always like, why do you do these if it sucks? Well, what? Because it's fun. I like making these videos. I like connecting with you. I like trying on stuff. I like whatever, the whole experience. And at this point with Trunk Club, they don't charge me a styling fee because I've been doing it for so long. So... I don't lose anything. <laughs> I'm not out any money for doing this. Um, if I decided to keep nothing, I wouldn't have lost a single penny. So, and it's, it's fine for me. <laughs> um, okay, I guess that's it. Let me in the video. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for being part of this community. I really appreciate our world, our community of weirdos that we have going on here. And um, yeah, all the links to everything will be in the description box, along with links to find me in other places if you want to do so, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Thank you so much to the supporters who make it possible to create this content. And if you enjoyed this video, please consider joining Patreon, where for just $2 a month, you get access to our private Facebook group, where I post behind the scenes videos, first looks at boxes and products I'm trying, and weekly live chats where we talk about literally anything. Your support means so much to me. Thank you for bringing your particular flavor of weirdo to our world of kind, compassionate folks. All the links will be in the description box below.